Allah. Unbelievable what's happening. Truly, truly unbelievable. You asked for vertical, horizontal, I should say. You got horizontal. You see? I'm going to fucking kill an e-biker someday. That's for sure. That's for sure. What do we say, folks? Too poor for a motorcycle. Too lazy for a bike. That's right. Uh, unnecessary. 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 Um, my God, folks. It is. What is it today? April 9th, 2000, uh, the year of our Lord uh, and Savior, of course, Jesus, uh, Henry Christ, the day before. Uh, put that bus driver, wrapped that bus around the tree. Yeah, I was honking. Um, yes. Um, huge things. It's, it's, it's frankly, it's unbelievable what's happening out here. Um, Ski Mask has lost his mind. Uh, uh, we've gone we've gone horizontal for the first time in, in history due to due to popular demand. Of course, I'm a man of the people, so I listen. That dude's ass. There's no no jacket, no vest. We're going for a high of 72 today here in the tri-state. So we're gonna go over. We have new start times. High of 72 in the city of the day, Get the asses out. The asses will be out. Sundresses will be out. Um, all the uh, all the ladies, all the little hoes have been itching to show up with buttholes. Been working out all winter, so we're going to go by the park and take a look at the buttholes. Uh, where do we even start? My God. Um, Jesus, where do we start? So much has happened. Uh, well, yes, the dumps programming note, I suppose. The dump now starts at one. Uh, in hot water, I guess, is back starting at two, two oh five. Uh, here you go. High of 70. It's got to be at least close to that now. Um, and uh, there you go. Let me see the next yeah, uh, yeah, the dump at one. I guess we'll start at 12.15 as we did today. 12.10, 12.15. Going forward. Dump starts at one, in out water back to two or two oh five. And uh then we'll go from there. Um uh ski mass has since totally lost his mind at this point, which uh is great content. Anybody saying it's not entertaining uh is just frankly lying. Anyone saying ski mass isn't entertaining is lying, that's a fact. Listen, we're not nobody's willing uh, nobody's willing Nobel pre peace prizes out here, okay? We're just out here to make entertaining shit. When a guy is constantly posting his cocks and balls and uh, pulling his balls out of podcasts and getting hammered and planting trees in the middle of potholes. I mean anyone saying that's not funny is, is lying. All right, we're here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this the hell is this fucking bullshit? What the hell is this? Who cares? Don't ask questions. It's just Ski Mask is entertaining. Period. Stop. We don't care about if he's living or dying. We don't care. We don't need to critique what it is. Just watch it and laugh. That's it. That's it. That's why Stevie Lou is so boring. That's why Pat Dixon is so boring. They're trying to be like actual talk show hosts. Like, who? Nobody gives a fuck. It's comedy. It's We're in a corner of comedy podcasting that is totally ridiculous. And these people are taking it seriously. That's why, if you haven't figured out, we've just making satire of all these podcasts for four years. It's just so annoying. 
you, know, you think I give a fuck what a comedian thinks about fucking foreign affairs or anything? It's all nonsense. I've never said a single thing I, I've meant. Um, yeah. yeah, that's what I thought, but... Where's Rickasaurus? <laughs> so anyway, Ski Mask has lost his mind to all of our... To the delight of all of us? I don't know what... What? I came here to look at butts. Not good. And then, what difference a week makes? Oh, there's a lot of stuff up here. So, uh, anyway, remember last week I went in here to get warm? Mean, guys, 70 like... degrees. Um, yeah, so that's Ski Mass. Unbelievable things happening at Ski Mass Media. Uh, absolutely taking over. The kings of content. Now we're just pulling away. I mean, Ski Mass is running over traffic cones. Uh, he's posting his his uh, penis on on Twitter. He's uh, he plant he, he uprooted a bush and planted it in a pothole yesterday or two days ago. Um, folks, I'm going to show you this. We're going to not to leave. Yeah, this is it. Um, what's this? Can I get arrested for this? Um. Not getting this on here, fucking bag of ass, uh, bag of ass basement podcast of all these other losers do. Uh, I mean, I was on national TV last week catching home run ball. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Um, how about these? Uh, Bon Levy, thank you. You're, you're absolutely right. Why well, can't the thing with the vertical is I can't see the chat. I don't see the chat. Listen, you people want... Oh, here we go. I figured it out. I'll get to the poor people chat in a minute, but if you want something red, uh, we are going to go to Sullivan's. I don't even know how to get rid of this now. You people wanted uh, goddamn horizontal and you've ruined my life. Um, but anyway, I'm not this close. I'm not too close. Um, where was I? Where was I? I have ADHD. Uh, what did Bon Levy say? He said something truly unbelievable is happening. It really is. Thank you, Bon Levy. And I will be going to savings. Uh, programming for today. Gino is obviously driving back from Canada with Carl. Let me get away from this. Trouble. Before I go to jail. Um, before I go to jail, like Ski that's the other thing. Ski is going to jail. These people are all frauds. All these, other, all these other podcasts are all frauds. They don't do anything. They're just talking about, basically, they're just talking about what we're doing. It's unbelievable. I mean, even Kevin Brennan, I've posted it multiple times. With the quote, Kevin Brennan, show your, uh, show your bag, big P. I mean, it's taking over the world. You OGs of this show, you know, it's uh, only been a matter of time. Because we're not doing, there's no works here. This is just us. Ski Mass is out of, we're both out of our minds. Ski Mass has taken the lead, lead on being out of his mind these days. But uh, we're agents of chaos, not agents of works. And that's why the real shit, long term, the real motherfuckers rise to the top. And we haven't stopped rising. I mean, it's absolutely so many people. Listen, people can come and go. Look at, look at this. It was the Jews. We know it was the Jews. Come on. Um, and uh, the tunnelers. Sorry. Can you say Jews? Uh, yeah, we're, we tell the truth here. It's the mass media. We always have. Everybody, listen. Over the course of time, we have been right about everything, about MLC, about MLC hosts, about the world, about COVID, if you want to go back that far, uh, about Milton, about Chad. Never been wrong. Meanwhile, all these other people are just saying shit for the immediate, uh, just for the immediate, uh, you know, bump of it. Uh, just say, like, for example, you really think Stevie's not going to do a podcast? Listen, off the air, in real life, Stevie, I consider Stevie a dear friend. I'm not even bashing his podcasting, but I'm talking about his works. 
Listen, if Stevie doesn't show up on another podcast for at least six months, I'll give him credit. If he does, then it's he's a fraud and it's a work. Easy peasy. Um. Anyway, hello everyone. How's it going? Yes, high of seventy-two here today. Let's see. Is that? Don't get that in the basement of podcasting. Um. No jacket, no vest today. Thank you for asking. Just a t-shirt. We're going to go to this park. Hopefully somebody has to this hanging out. Um, I know Gino's live. That's good for him. I do this once a week. I have a real job. Um, so somebody tell Gino uh, he can cancel his thing till I'm done. But uh, no, I do this once a week. Uh, people rely on it. It gives people life. And... Um, so, no offense to Gino, but uh, he should take his link and scrub it up his giddy ass. Um, frankly, it's a slap in the face. It's going live at the same time as me. Frankly, I can't believe I'm in double digits for viewers. But I'm doing, so, thank you. I encourage all of you to get everyone from Gino's stream to come over here. Um, that'll really show him. Uh, so, no, I will absolutely not be accepting Gino's link. I do this once a week. He gets to do a show four days a week and then his rat cast another two days. So no, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a regular person and we will soldier on with this. Fancy compound for you We always do. There he is. Shoot on his head again this week. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. I suppose it's still early. I'm a little disappointed in the lack of asses hanging out. Uh, I'd like to see more butts hanging out with the warm weather. Usually they come off, you know, the first warm day. All the asses are hanging out. All the uh, all the tits are hanging out. But uh, no luck just yet. So now I, I'm on a different time. Right, so 12:24. The show starts at one. Um, as far as programming for Compound today, uh, again exclusive. You're only going to get here at Compound pregame. Uh, Keanu will be hosting in hot water. Uh, the great, the wonderful, the incomparable, the legend, Billy Tardy. I have will be joining me in studio, be joining us in studio to share his uh, Boston accent with everyone. The legend Billy Tardy. Um, uh, I may have Gino's dead mother calling in. If you watch Legion of Skanks from uh, the other week, you know. Uh, you may uh you may have a little Easter egg there. Um, see, no butts, no butts at all. Uh, I'll get to the free the poor people chat when I get to Sullivan's. Listen, you can blame anybody, any of you poor people. You can blame everybody else. Wanted wanted has been asking for this horizontal. So I man as as the, the people champ. I did it, but the problem is the chat doesn't auto. I have to like scroll for oh my God, I'm like this button. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You're all welcome. Um, yeah, so the dump starts at one this week. Programming change. Programming change. Programming change. Um, what else? You're all welcome. Polly C, you bring a dog to the bar. No, no. You will not you do not do that. That's animal abuse. Um, uh what else? Um think so. Think so. Um I think it's a win. You never know these days. Maybe I'm a one. Who cares? You can do whatever you want to do. Oh, nonsense. Uh, what else? How did you see the eclipse yesterday? I'll fucking blow your head off. It happens pretty often. People are like, I've never seen one. I feel like I've seen multiple eclipses. I'm, I'm 38. And I feel like I've seen multiple solar eclipses as well as uh, lunar eclipses. So. I mean, it's always cool. 
and especially it was on a new moon, so it was a uh, a uh, an astral cleansing. Um, talking about astral, um, but uh, not that big of a deal, folks. It's uh, it's calm the fuck down with uh, not that. It's cool, it's fun, but uh, it came and went, and then that's it. So. Let's move on. Let's go to Sullivan's and get hammered and then do a show. Uh, anybody in the city, 30, uh, 213 West 35th, come to the studio. We can fuck or fight or something in between. We care, frankly. Uh, yes, Kiana will be hosting. I have some people. We, I still have some people we didn't get to last week. Uh, I don't know. Uh, some callers, if you will, a jet skier. I may have to have call in, talk to Billy and Keanu, Billy Tardy in the studio today. Uh, yes, and on to Frankie. Truly, uh, how do I even put it? The universe, I hate to, uh, you know, the universe does provide. The older I get, the more. You had to put faith in the universe, taking care of things. And it was really tweeted it out, but I meant what I said. It really was one of the more heartwarming weekends or scenes, absolute scenes, as a British friend would say, with uh, Frankie meeting Gino. How it happened was perfect. Uh, he, all the way up to the end, I saw the message Gino posted. The guy said he told the bartender his friends are crossing the border now and they'll be back someday and then just disappeared like a puff of smoke. Um, so really, really cool. I wish I knew earlier, fucking Gino, if I knew earlier, I would be, have been happy to join them. Ah, we're doing it. Um, here's your money. Where's Flat Cat? Where's Flat Cat? Big fucking old pit. Here you go, flat cat. Let him know. Let him know. Thank you. Here we go. See? Those are my kind of things. He's still on it. I love it. I love to see it. Don't want to push you around. Um, yeah, the Frankie stuff was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. No denying it. Even the staunchest of Gino haters have to admit uh, he pulled this one off without a hitch. Uh, more wholesome than any. And then this is not even a knock against MLC or anything else, but really one of the coolest moments in podcasting in a long time. Um, kind of makes everything else kind of pale in comparison when you have 60 year old men, 50 year old men. Talking about other grown men, just about online these bullshit. There she is. Oh, she is she. Is. Talking to the kids. Yeah, talk to the kids. Look at the fans right there. Look. Hi. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> Live on YouTube. Do you want to plug? You have anything to plug? Oh no, I want to be plug? a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do too. I'm about to do. It. I'm about to be famous. Yes, see you All right. Uh, you see what happens? Make your face not getting that in these fucking basement dweller fucking loser podcast. Leave your fucking out. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah, to my point. There's another good example. It just makes all these other podcasts look like shit. So shout out to Gino, shout out to Carl for getting up to Canada and making that happen. Very cool moment. I would love to do uh I saw Gino post about it. We do a a Frankie fest every year. That'd be cool. Uh, and uh, yes. And then, um, and that's cool. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe I, oh, Jesus, I didn't even think I should have invited her up to the studio. <laughs> you would have loved that. The boss would have loved that. Um, uh, what time is it? I have to go start drinking, folks. Nah, we got a little time. We got a little time. Um, there you go. 
always fun interaction with Scantle Compound pregame. Um, Adam Hineker's double. I was. Uh, Adam Hineker left MLC. I sent him a heartfelt message off the air, off of all the uh, bullshit, wishing him well. I mean, eight years. I mean, I go back to pre Adam. I'm like, a lot of these people don't even go back pre Super Chats. It's newcomers that think they're cool that Kevin takes their money every day. Uh, but yeah, I go back with MLC pre Adam, back when it was just Liz and you know, I got the producer over there at uh, uh, the comic strip used to produce it. Um, but anywho, yeah, so is that Adam nice message? And uh, I know we've had no, I'm hoping this reset, and I think even Kevin said it, I'm hoping this resets MLC, uh, a bit of a reset. Stevie, to his credit, and hopefully not a work is out. So that'll automatically help. Pat Dixon is persona non grata, so that'll help. I don't understand the Liam guy, why he's on the show. I know Kevin likes the shit on me for it, but I, I even wonder if Kevin understands the show. Because he just has odd people in his word that are ball washers and dick riders. Uh, when the beautiful thing about the show used to be we'd have on comics or other people who didn't disagree, who disagree with him about just about everything. And that's the fun of the show. And uh, so anyway, hopefully there's a hard MLC reset with Adam. And uh, so hopefully that helps the show. Um, by the way, been one somebody who's who's buying these drinks. Bon Levy is one super chat today. It's seventy degrees. I'm not wearing sleeves. Oh my God. Oh, be careful. Thought you can't carry concealed weapons. I don't think I'm going to get hard today. It's too nice. I think I'm going to jump on the train back and do drugs by the water. Real man, sure. Um. All right, shall we go to Sullivan's? Shall we? I think we've done. I think we've accomplished a lot today out here on the streets. We've got about twenty minutes to fuck around. Go we'll fuck around, Sullivan's. You got your horizontal view. You have random people calling. You have exclusive insights on what's going on in the compound today. The piano with Billy Tardy. What more could you want? I think I've done it enough. Here it is. And oh my God, to top it off, the, the, the infamous corner where Stevie Lou was attacked by nunchucks, allegedly. Uh, R.I.P. Stevie Lou. We'll never forget. Never forget. Oh boy, the garbage is full today. It's good. Love when there's garbage. Now we're good. Now nah, we're getting in. Here we go. Oh, folks. Folks. We're not going to believe this. We're not going to believe this, folks. We did it. Here it is. I think I'm lying. We're doing it. Taking this. That's mine now. Garbage pizza. Garbage pizza. Fresh out of the garbage. Not getting that anywhere else. Steve's going to be so proud of me for this. Garbage pizza. Right. Oh, sorry. Proper intro. I apologize. The, the, uh, Infamous John Sullivan. It's the Leo Gunn and Kevin Brennan party room at Just Up Top. God knows how many more weeks. I mean, everybody's saying the compound's shutting down. I guess you have to stay tuned. We have garbage pizza we'll eat on the show. And here we go. Ooh. 
Jackpot, jackpot. Hi, Michelle. Beautiful. Billy Tardy. Where are you, Billy? Come on down, Billy. Oh, wait, we got, we got Herbert's Pizza. Steve's going to be so proud of me. All right, I'll get to the poor chat. Okay, I'll get to you poor people in a second. All right. All right, who's uh, who's paying for this tab anyway? I mean, I'm not uh, I'm not a super chat ball washer like all Kevin's guests and Kevin himself. It is laughable. I mean, it's kind of honest about it. Not getting that. Mel, wait, no, Mel was not doing that. Neither was Shuley, neither was Carl, neither was uh, these other people like that. Um, not getting that. Where's Blackjack? Here you go, Blackjack. Here you go, KB. Maybe KB. Um, Somebody super chat. Uh, it's not a secret, but uh, yeah. Gino hasn't paid me since my uh, since my suspension, which is fine. I told him not to. Um, and um, um, just unbelievable. All right, let's see what you poor people do. I hope you all are thankful for all that what all that I've done. Making this a horizontal show. Cornda Stansel Brock on. Thank you, Cornda. I like the corn. I've said that from day one. Never cared for the potato. I actually enjoy the corn. I don't mind the corn. Still it's still a vegetable, so Fully behind it. I like the corn dip. Much more than the potato sticks. Never like never really care for yeah, I don't I don't have a personality. Or a sense of humor. I'm good at computers. That's a potato. See, I can do that. Uh John hey, hey. hey Jim, what's the biggest mental disorder that made if you know a shuffle? I don't know. Probably something some kind of social disorder, I do guess. Hey, Jim, is Ray mentally challenged or just amazed? Definitely yeah, some kind of. Oh, I didn't even get to. Did you see uh, Elisa Giordano get her ass beat uh, in the car? I think something I want to talk about much because this is actually pretty disgusting. So, my question is that guy was apparently her boyfriend and he looks like a slug. So, what is it? Was that guy like loaded? Is that the deal? Is that like her sugar daddy? I mean, even if he had a huge schlong, he's still terribly bad looking for a girl like her. So I can't imagine even a big piece here to be the drop. So does anybody have any info? Is that guy, that guy has to be loaded, right? I mean, she was calling him baby when she was being dropped. So he must be a for sugar daddy, right? Does anybody didn't tell on that? Anyway, I don't really get it. I really should have discussed it. Corn diff. Ski mask is definitely entertaining. It's just way more balls than the corn diff. Go lunch. I got my lunch right here. Jeff Cowley and Sansel Gang. Uh, Bob Levy. Getting me super jelly. Thank you. Chow Main. I trust Ski Mask needed over steam. You 
Poly C. I'm bringing dogs and bars. Fuck you, Poly. Poly C is the Sunday night Poly C gym here at the bar. I hope I turned his ankle so he couldn't perform. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. ACDC, Stancil will have a Newport party today at Contact. I should have invited those ladies. Oh, really? Billy Tardy, yeah, boy, on my way. Here we go, folks. ACDC 5150. Adam left to get away from Kevin's bullshit. Uh, good comment. Conversation starter. I don't think he left. I do think Kevin does not very well. I believe Adam told the truth about his real job and not having time. However, if Kevin show, and this is, I guess, a credit to Kevin, if MLC was some sort of, you know, Middle of the road, talk about topics, podcasts. I have a feeling yeah, that I'm say, but yes, I do think with all of Kevin, with all the shit, all the shit stirring, all the stuff, it's just easier. I mean, frankly, I hate to say it, similar to combat, people are mad. I do think it uh, did play a part in some of uh, Nutshot, we are the SMC very jealous of the MLC success. They are doing amazing things. Yeah, we would never, ever, ever claim the right to claim MLC. MLC is, uh, never even claim to be a real group. We do cover the state of MLC. The state of MLC compared to the old MLC is terrible. So it's absolutely right. It is, it is, MLC is as successful as it has ever been. Kevin got an early super chat train, and now there's like a culture among the new fans competing with super chats. Uh, that's what it is. It is well, it said forever and years, basically. I'll never see that start. This is something that makes money. It doesn't make it good. So it's, it's, I mean, I find myself skipping the last half hour, hour of show because it's just Kevin reminding me that's not work. Very, very boring. So I understand on paper it's as successful as it's ever been, which is absolutely true. But it doesn't mean it's as good as it's ever been. It's definitely, it's good. It's definitely not uh, the actual content of that. The wild tale comparison. It really is a good thing. I'm not saying that's a good thing. Back. The actual content, the quality of the MLC shows are uh, a fraction of what they used to be as far as uh, entertainment. Like I said, I, used, I do watch all listen to almost every MLC. Now I find myself skipping them. Skipping them. I just don't I don't, I don't see how anybody can care about having to read somebody else's words. I understand how they can get a good reaction out of them, but 80% of the time. Okay, that's great. Might even be funny, but I didn't tune in to listen to DK's comments on the channel. Whoever was going to be boring. It's debatable. Mark Baldwin. I don't say keep the KB out in the streets of comedy. But yeah, listen, Kevin just rides his bike now. That's why he has no stories. That's the reason for losing super chat. I'm begging Kevin, go do spots. Go, go to Gas Digital. Go, 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 go anywhere. Who wants me to do something? I've said, he just has nothing to talk about. So he has to read his, his losing super chat. No offense to super chat. Of course, Kevin took super chat. Oh, I where were we? We got 
Let's see KB on the two crown people. Next shot. KB would put himself in the same area. Yeah. Like what the is for. Next shot. Do you think Kelly P is any good at relations? Ooh, gosh. What a juicy question. Uh, I think so. I think so. I mean, she was uh, married. I think was the person who passed away. Yeah. Great ass, dude. It's still, it's still uh, snowballs. Has anyone ever seen a real photo of Kelly P? I have. I have. It's good looking. Reheat, yes. So if you tuned in late, I found this pizza in the garbage outside. You can rewind and see if you find it. Uh, I plan on eating it on the dump today. Garbage pizza there. It's beautiful. Um, Two more minutes. Tune in nice. Yana is hosting the order. Billy Hardy will be joining me in the studio. Uh, oh boy, let's see. Name the one. Wow, another Tuesday. Another fake job having us podcast. We're drinking before one o'clock. Wow. I get one day off a week. It's Tuesday, all of a sudden, my, my one day off I spend, by the way, doing shows. I do any day off. Might be the hardest looking man. Ball professor. Shows, real jobs. I'm happy with those things. Yeah, we're going to have Gino's mom call him. Maybe I'll have Gino's mom talk to you. I mean, too. She may want to talk about stuff. Uh, snowballs. Where did they go to AEW? Canada? Yeah, the US. You said that AEW and Stanford Mall. But, uh, you beer stinks. I'll just say it. I'll just say it. I'll just say it. I'll just say it. Every once in a while, it means a lot. Once in a year, every two years. Otherwise, I never understood the rules for you. So, uh, so, so, I'm sure to play ball ball. Rufio's green show. I guess he had like, to go up with it in the West somewhere. Stink. Yeah, just eat candy. It's like drinking candy. Uh, what else? The Mets finally won a series. That's cool. So, 70 degrees out. Yeah. Showing off their bugs, presenting as they say. Dating season. Ah, uh, well, we don't think anybody's clips pictures today, so that's good. This didn't happen on stage. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, we got to look at uh, Ski Mess Blues and his uh, penis line. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Great peaks. I don't look that big. That's the lessons of this very large bottle of meaning. But, in any case, still better content than watching hours of grown men talking about each other. Hey. And I understand topics can be gay too, but I think grown men over 50 talking about podcasts be going on this is a bunch of years. Not only gay, but pretty boring. Rather go out in the streets and now. Uh, Get it across to I've shown my bag. I've shown my bag. I'll tell you. I'm very upset. I'm going to get that shirt in my bag. 
too much in my bag. All to yourself. Oh, well, get on a flight. Then. I gotta hurry up and get here. Let's see what's going on. Get this. Oh, we got garbage. We got pizza. Look at the garbage. Probably fell on the ground, I would guess. But we'll try it. Give it a whirl. Get the uh, Mr. Cooney's table down there. That's it. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, of course. WrestleMania. I actually watch WrestleMania. You know, the producers out, out there. I didn't watch it live, but pretty entertaining. Uh, a lot of it is a bit. I've said this for a while now. It's a bit. It's a bit. Uh, how you say childish, I guess, for lack of a better word. Childish, it's just, uh, it's very PG. I'm hoping when they switch over to Netflix, that was to uh, old Julio and the other thing. Uh, I'm hoping when they switch over to Netflix, they get a little bit, uh, everybody gets a little bit more back to. Swearing, the blood, uh, a little more of a, like it was in the attitude. Never recreate the attitude. Uh, but yeah, but overall, it's pretty entertaining. Pretty entertaining. Uh, snowball, funny. Oh, thank you, Snowball. I have to buy it. Enjoy my garbage pizza. Really, thank you for that. Yeah, nice slice. Slice. Ooh, Nikki. Nikki Huntsman. Uh, Nikki Huntsman texted me the other day. Hey, everybody. It's not the most famous walking podcast. Yeah, so they're gonna play the. Uh, you saw it here first, folks. Finding the pizza in the garbage. I'm sure, we'll play the clip. Uh, Cheers. Just like Patrice and Anthony and Jim used to do back in the NEW days, go to the studio, 
Not like uh Here we go, come in. Come on, you know where I am. Like all these losers, you know where I am. Come and get it. What's the uh, Holden Caulfield line? Uh, phonies, uh, fakes and phonies, phonies and losers. Whatever it is, I feel about it. the hack verse, the Levy verse, all that shit. No offense, but I mean, I love Levy. I've no, never had a problem with Shuli. But how did, what are these guys? I watched a couple minutes of the show when Brennan was late. It's just like, ugh, it's just not good. I hate to say it. I mean, for that, it's one, again, similar to say about Kevin. Too many shows. Too many shows. Too many shows a week. Here we are. Found this pizza in the garbage. Found this pizza. Garbage pizza. Yep. That's awesome. Outside the 99 cent pizza. Hold on. Listen to this. Hear that? Is that you or your child? Your child in the background. Yeah, that, is that you farting while your child? Uh... He's. he's... <laughs> <laughs> and that's. And you can get more of that in just a few moments here at Compound in Media. Two minutes. Two minutes. I have to go urinate, and then we're going to eat pizza I found in the garbage. And then we're going to fart because I got the right fart zone. Oh, fart zone. Oh, it's going to be a great day. Come on over. Compound Media. Pro code. Who gives a fuck? Goodbye.